we interrupt this program to bring you Courage the Cowardly Dog Show, starring Courage the Cowardly Dog! Courage the Cowardly Dog is a cartoon that holds a very special place in my heart, and it always will. Not only was it one of my favorite shows when I was young, but it also played a big part in turning my YouTube channel into what it is today. In my opinion, one thing that's really important in life is never forgetting your roots. And that's exactly what Courage the Cowardly Dog symbolizes for me. The OG fans in the audience will remember my very early content. There was a time when my videos were completely random. When I first started this channel, I really didn't know exactly what I wanted it to be. Then I made a video called Top 10 Most Iconic Episodes of Courage the Cowardly Dog. I'll link it in the description box down below if you want to check it out. This was the video that really shifted my channel into what I wanted it to become. It was well received by my, at the time, super small audience, and I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed it so much that I made the full-blown transition to my content being fully dedicated to old school cartoons and nostalgia, which is probably the best decision I've ever made. My channel started to make sense and serve a purpose, and all of that was thanks to Courage the Cowardly Dog. Now, in this day and age, it's pretty common for older cartoons that we grew up with to be re booted, with the newer version being typically aimed at a younger audience. Shows like The Powerpuff Girls, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and most recently Rugrats would be subject to these modern reboots. Meanwhile, shows like Rocco's Modern Life and Animaniacs would be given the reboot treatment but in a form that felt like it was more aimed at an older audience than at kids. Unfortunately though, more often than not, these reboots fail and end up being seen in a negative light when compared to the original versions of their shows. Recently, I learned that back in 2014, before reboots started popping up left and right like wildfires, Cartoon Network was testing the waters of possibly giving Courage the Cowardly Dog a reboot. Cartoon Network had ordered a pilot for a potential Courage reboot and the show's creator John R. Dilworth got to work. What ended up coming of it was a short 7 minute long CGI pilot that would air on Cartoon Network only in Southeast Asia on Halloween of 2014. The short pilot has yet to air anywhere else, and with it being nearly 7 years since it originally aired, it's pretty safe to say that the Courage reboot probably isn't going any farther than it already has. But regardless, it's kinda cool to think that this could have been a thing. That's why today we're looking at the pilot for the Courage reboot that almost was. The Fog of Courage the episode begins in a familiar place with a familiar scene, on the bag farm with Courage out in the yard digging a hole. Yay! Huh? I was so hyped to see that they kept the original voice actor for Courage. That's one of my biggest issues with these reboots nowadays. It's one thing to change the animation style, but to change the main protagonist voice actor is just aggravating. Courage finds what he was looking for, but he also finds a strange locket with the word Kariana engraved on it. He puts the locket right in his doggy pockets and he heads back inside, only to be followed by a ghostly hand that wants the locket back. Inside, we see Muriel struggling to dust the tall shelf in their living room when she asks Eustace for help. What is it? I'm, I'm busy. Sadly, they had to get a new voice actor for Eustace as his original voice actor, Lionel Wilson, passed away back in 2003. Next, we see why Courage was digging in the yard to begin with. He uses his suction cup gun to grab a picture off the high shelf for Muriel to dust. You're quite the gentleman, Courage. Courage then proceeds to give Muriel the locket that he found, but Eustace is quick to rip it off of her, saying, If you found it on my property, dog, it's mine! <laughs> Words that I'm sure he'll come to regret soon enough. Later that night, Courage and Eustace are upstairs looking for more information about the locket so Eustace can see what it's worth. The Cariana, a love locket, a medieval antique, very valuable. Woohoo! I'm but be warned, a curse will befall anyone who removes the necklace. It will separate two departed lovers in the grave. Unless the necklace is returned, the guilty will be separated from their loved ones forever. Eustace doesn't care for a second about the curse that follows the locket, and he runs away excitedly yelling about how he's gonna be rich. He goes down to the truck and begins to leave so that he can sell the locket when a cloud of fog and the ghost that haunts the locket swoops in to attack. Yeah. 
I absolutely love how they stayed true to the original here and really showed Courage's exaggerated response to fear. The ghost swoops in to get Eustace, and Courage, being the good boy that he is, swoops in to save the day. He carries Eustace back into the house and tells him to give the locket back. Over my dead body! Next, there's a knock at the door, and Muriel opens the door, thinking that someone might need help, but little does she know, she is actually just letting the ghost into their home. The room quickly fills up with fog as Eustace runs upstairs like a coward. Muriel seems to have disappeared while Courage stays downstairs looking for her. Courage hears the real Muriel calling for help, and he runs upstairs looking for her. Of course, Eustace has the attic door locked, leaving Courage to have to gnaw through the door while the ghost is swiftly chasing after him. Can a man be alone with his jewelry? Judging by the direction of her cries for help, Courage realizes that Muriel's up on the roof, so he climbs out the window to save her, while Eustace follows, fearing for his life. Up on the roof, the family is forced to deal with the ghost face to face. <laughs> Make me an offer! After the ghost finally has them cornered, Courage cuts a hole in the floor underneath Eustace and rips the locket off of him as he falls through the hole. Courage then proceeds to throw the locket into the ghost's mouth, which at first chokes the ghost but also appeases it so it begins to descend back to where it came from while Eustace, in a fit of greed, belly flops off of the house in an effort to get the locket back. Meanwhile, Muriel is about to fall off of the house, so Courage thinks quick and uses his suction cup gun to catch her and bring her back to safety. Cheeky. With everything back to normal, we're treated to a familiar scene that calls back to the original series. Muriel and Courage sitting together in her rocking chair, rocking back and forth as Muriel asks the age-old question. I wonder what's happened to Eustace? Meanwhile, Eustace is buried deep, deep down below their property, enjoying his riches, trapped in a hole with the creepy ghost. And that's where it ends. My initial reaction to this proposed reboot honestly surprised me. I'm not a fan of most of these reboots, except for the Animaniacs and the Rocco's Modern Life Netflix special, those weren't all too bad. But in a world where the Rugrats reboot consists of new age hippie Grandpa Lou, Gamer Stu, and Dee Dee's voice sounding like nails on a chalkboard, I'd say that this Courage reboot actually would have been pretty good. They kept most of the same tropes from the original show, stayed consistent in the mannerisms of the core characters, and even though the animation style completely changed, they still managed to loosely capture the feeling that the original series had. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't absolutely perfect, however, at least they didn't completely butcher it like most reboots nowadays really tend to do. If Cartoon Network was still contemplating doing a reboot of Courage, if it was similar to what we had saw here, I wouldn't mind it at all. Also, as a side note, if you want to watch this pilot for yourself without my commentary, it's a simple Google search away, you can find it on YouTube easily. But what do you think? Let's start a conversation in the comments down below. What did you think of this pilot? Would you watch a Courage reboot? And what do you think of all the reboots that are being churned out nowadays? I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments. I'll also stick around for a while after I post this video to respond to some of your comments, so let me know what you think. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like so that more people can see it, and if you want more content like this then subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to 3,000 subs and I'd love for you to be a part of the journey. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.